Let us try an example to determine the shear resistance of the welded connections. The figure here shows a beam connections. A plate is welded on the beam. This is the I beam and the sections of the I beams are given here. The plate here has a height of 240 and a thickness of 10 mm. And this plate is welded at both sides of the web. The thickness of the trot is 4 mm. Assuming the steel grade is S275, you are asked to calculate the shear resistance of the welded end plate to beam connections. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first we need to determine the equations to be used to check the resistance of the fillet weld. As given here, the design shear strength it will be equals to the stress multiply the trot thickness, where the welded strength is given in these equations. There will be ultimate stress, beta W, and also factor of safety. The value of the ultimate stress and beta W can be obtained from this table. It was said that the steel grade is S275, therefore FU will be equals to 430 and beta W will be equals to 0 0.85. The factor of safety gamma M2 will be equals to 1.25. Substitute the relevant value into the equations, you obtain the stress equals to 233.7 Newton per mn square. This value represents the unit stress of the weld. The stress later is to be multiplied with the trot thickness, which is equal to 4 mm. You will get the stress per unit length of the weld. To determine the shear resistance of the connections, you need to multiply the unit length strength multiply with the total length of the weld. Referring to the diagram here, the web will be on both sides of the web. Therefore, the end here will be equal to 2. Next, we need to determine the effective length of the weld, as represented in the diagram here. The L here can be determined by the height of the plate minus 2A which is the 2 times the trot thickness. Assuming that the weld here is not effective at both ends. With that, you will get L equals to 232 mm. Substitute the relevant value into the equations, you will get the shear resistance equals to 433.7 kN.